Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Um, we've been going on many things and uh, I hope you have seen or noticed uh, if you've been following the Coffee Mug tutorials that we are sort of diving a little bit deeper into each topic. Um, so in the beginning, we used to kind of give you an idea of what's there in, in NAV, but now we want to actually move forward into the topic so that you get a full understanding of the module. And uh, so what we want to get into today is uh, the CRM system inside NAV. So Microsoft has two CRM systems technically, or actually many, but they have their own called Dynamics CRM. And that's not the one I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about the CRM system inside NAV. NAV has had a CRM system since uh, very early on, even before Dynamics CRM. And uh, we were wondering what Microsoft was going to do with that since uh, NAV connects to Dynamics CRM. Uh, and Microsoft actually uh, kept going with the NAV CRM, so and has advanced it and is advancing it. So there is, uh, it seems to be like those two CRM systems are going to be out there and it's just going to be an option for you to pick which one will work better. Uh, and uh, I think it's a, a really good idea to understand what you have in your package before you actually add on another package. So let's dive into it a little bit. Um, this will be the first video in that series. So if I go here into customers <clears throat> and I take a look at, for example, the Canon group, if you uh, are working with uh, ERP systems, many of them do not have a CRM system inside. So they'll have like maybe one or two fields here that say contact one, contact two, and you can put in the contact names. Um, but NAV, since it has a built-in CRM system, actually has a table behind here. So if I hit contact, I get a list of contacts that are connected to the customer. So this could be any number of contacts. Here you could have um, the AP contact, you could have many salespeople you deal with within the organization, et cetera, et cetera. So, and you can actually do this not only with customers, but you can do it with vendors uh, and banks. So in here, if I take a look at a particular person um, like Stephanie, let me just hit edit on here. Um, we can see a lot of information about Stephanie. Uh, we can see the address, email, mobile phone number, we can show the address on the map. Um, and we can also see um, a profile. And this profile is user generated. So you can actually generate the questionnaire yourself. We can see that she's analytical, she likes the theater, uh, outdoor activities, tennis, golf, uh, and she's a female, so we should have been able to tell that by the name. But if we couldn't, um, here's a confirmation. <laughs> <clears throat> so not only is, is this important for that uh, purpose, of course, um, it's also important if you want to do mailing lists and you want to target a certain, you know, either female or male. Um, category. So this, you know, this is really handy and, and this is kind of just the tip of the iceberg for CRM um, or what the capabilities are inside NAV. As you can see over here, we have something called opportunities, which I'll go into later. Um, and we have segments, etc., interactions, all of that. So if I close out this and just to show you, I'm going to create a new contact in here. Uh, and I'm going to call, this is going to be John uh, Malloy. And he's not a company, he is actually a person. So I select a person. If I were creating a new contact as a company, um, I would have here company and tie it to the company uh, in the customer list. So let me just see here. Um, this is going to be the kind of group. Um, 
And the salesperson is going to be Peter Sato. So um, that automatically comes from the kind of group. So it's sort of tied together. And now here in the profile questionnaire, I can actually go into navigate profiles and I get the questionnaire just like that. And I can just say here that uh, he's a male. He likes football and golf um, and tennis. I uh, see he's married. He has a master's and he's analytical. All right. All right. So now we have all of that in here and uh, and we got a new contact. Now, if I hit OK, so we can see the new contact here underneath the Canon group. Um, and we are ready to use that contact. So as I said, this will be the first video in the series. We're going to dive deeper into what we can do with the CRM. Uh, if you like this, hit the thumbs up. Or if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, until next time, thank you.